Hi, my name is Ethan and today I'm going to be showing you how to fix a couple of common problems uh, with your PC. Uh, the first of which is sometimes uh, if you have a custom built uh, computer specifically, but this could also affect off the shelf uh, computers as well, uh, your computer might take a long time to wake back up after you have slept it or it is auto slept. Uh, and another problem I'm going to be telling you how to solve uh, today is also if you do sleep your computer some computers will wake themselves back up without you telling them to which can be a little bit irritating uh, so I'm going to be telling you how to fix them and then also I'll be giving a short explanation uh, as to why this first fix actually works first of all I'm going to tell you how to fix the first problem which is your computer taking a long time to wake back up after you have slept it. So what you're going to want to do first is go to your control panel. Now in Windows 7 you do that by going to start and control panel however in some versions of Windows you may have to find the search uh, feature which will be in uh, the start menu and to the right of your screen in Windows 8 and in Windows 10 it will be here in the start menu. But once you've done that you want to go hardware and sound and then power options and then you want to go to change when the computer sleeps then change advanced power settings once you are in this menu you want to go down to where it says sleep and here you want to click the drop downs and they should uh, they should show something similar to this however you will see here if this is the uh, thing that's causing your computer to take a long time let's turn back on this will be turned on. You want to click this, click the drop down and make sure you click off. You might also want to make sure this is set to never and you want to have uh, allow wait timer disabled as well because that could also be one of the things that is causing the next problem that I'll be telling you to solve. So once you've done all that you want to hit apply and OK. And there you go. Now when you sleep your computer you should no longer have the problem of it taking a long time to wake back up. Now, fixing the second problem. So this is when your computer will wake itself back up after you have slept it. Now this can be very, very irritating. Uh, I, have a, I have experience with this computer. Both of these problems I've experienced on this computer that I'm using right now, which is my custom built PC. In order to fix the second problem, uh, you need to determine what is causing the issue. Now don't panic, this is simpler than it sounds. So basically, the reason you will be having this problem where it's waking up is your computer by default has certain devices connected to it uh, such as your mouse and keyboard uh, which I have here uh, that are allowed to wake up your device. Now obviously this is fine with your mouse and keyboard because that means you can actually wake up your computer by pressing a button on the mouse or on the keyboard. However, there are other things that might be uh, allowed to wake your computer up in your com uh, computer, other devices such as network cards or whatever. It could be anything. So, you need to determine which devices that are connected to your computer are currently allowed to wake your computer up. And in order to do that, you need to open the command box. So you want to go to search on any version of Windows and type in CMD and then hit enter. Once you're in here, you should see a window that looks similar to this, uh, no matter what version of Windows you are in. And you want to type in power CFG. I will put all this in the description in case uh, you miss it. Space minus device query space wake underscore armed. Once you've done that you want to hit enter and what this is going to do is this is going to tell your computer to show you all the computer the devices connected to the computer that currently have permission to wake up your computer. Now on mine uh, I can only see mouse and keyboard because I've already fixed this problem but you could see you, you might see one more thing other than your mouse and keyboard or you might see several. Uh, these could range from network cards, sound cards, to even things you don't even know what they are that are on your motherboard. Uh, but they could, it could be anything. Once you've done this, uh, you've got the list of things. You, you can leave that open if that helps you. And you want to go back to the control panel, which you should know how to do now. 
So once you're in the control panel, you want to go hardware and sound, and then you go to the top here, and where it says device and printers, underneath you should see device manager. Now, I should warn you now that if you're not in the administrator account on your computer, or you don't know the administrator password for your computer, you will not be able to do this. Uh, however, if you're not, uh, if you are the administrator, that's fine. So once you're in here, you should see a list of several devices. Uh, now you want to search through this list until you find a device uh, which is listed here. So you can you can click the drop downs here. You can see all the devices that are connected. So I can click down here, for example, because one of my devices is a keyboard. So I clicked at the drop down, and here is my keyboard. So once you've found the device you're looking for. You want to right click on it and go properties and then you want to go to power management and you should see that allow this device to wake the computer is ticked. Now you want to untick this then click OK. And once you've done that you can close all these windows and you're done. So there you go, that should have fixed all your problems. If you want to know why the first fix actually works, if you don't already, please stick around and I will now explain to you what hybrid sleep mode actually is. So, what is hybrid sleep mode? Well, in order to understand what hybrid sleep mode is, we need to know what sleep and hibernate functions do. So, when you sleep your computer, any data from tasks that you currently have running uh, such as here we've got Minecraft, Google Chrome and a Word document, any of the unsaved data from that will go straight to your RAM. On top of this, your computer will go into low power mode, which is why you'd want to sleep your computer in the first place, which obviously means it is using less power. Now a pro of this is if you come back to your computer and you want to start using it again, it will wake up very quickly. However, if you, for some reason, lose power to your computer, all your data, which is stored in the RAM, will be lost. And this is because RAM is what is known as volatile memory, meaning that it only retains anything stored on it whilst it has power to it. As soon as it loses power, it wipes completely. So hibernate differs from sleep because uh, when you hibernate your computer, any data from any tasks that you have running is saved straight to the hard drive in a temporary file. A pro of this is if you lose power to your computer for any reason, all your data is safe because hard drives are what is known as non-volatile storage, which means that if you lose power, all the data that is on the hard drive is safe. Another pro of this is your computer is using no power at all. But when you turn your computer back on, you still have all the stuff there where you left off. Now, a con of this is uh, because you are loading all your data back onto your computer from your hard drive, it is going to take about the same amount of time to turn back on as restarting your computer. Possibly even a little bit longer or maybe a little bit shorter depending on your computer. So what is hybrid sleep mode? Hybrid sleep mode uh, essentially takes components from both sleep and hibernate. So when you have hybrid sleep mode activated on your computer, when you sleep your computer, all the data from the projects you are currently working on is saved to the hard drive in a temporary file. This means, obviously, if you lose power, your data is safe. But Unless you have a super fast SSD as your boot drive in your computer, the boot drive is the, uh, the drive in the computer that your operating system and everything is on. Uh, unless that is an SSD, your computer is going to take a long time to wake back up because it's having to read all the data back in from the hard drive. And that is what hybrid sleep mode is. So hopefully now you understand what hybrid sleep mode is you un and you should understand why it makes your computer wake up very slowly. Thank you very much for watching everyone uh, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.